One of the most important things you have to learn with ZBrush is how to navigate around your model, pan, rotate, and even zoom. There are three ways to navigate, and you should try all three before deciding which one is good for you. The first method of navigation is called the classic navigation. For best results, go to Preferences, Interface, Navigation, and turn off right-click navigation temporarily. To rotate around your model, simply click and drag outside of your model on the canvas. If you would like to snap rotation, start rotating the model in the direction you'd like to snap and then click Shift. Shift will snap the rotation to the nearest 90 degree angle. To move, simply press Alt and then click on the background and drag. To scale, simply press down Alt, click down the background, let go of Alt, and then drag. And lastly, to rotate around the Z-axis, or basically the camera, simply press Shift, click in the background, release, and drag. If you ever find yourself in this tricky situation, where you're using classic navigation and you accidentally zoom in too far so that you can no longer see the background, don't panic. Do you see this white line that is all around the outside of the canvas? This counts as a safe area, which you can use instead of the background to zoom, rotate, and do anything else that you need. To frame your model back into the document perfectly, press F one time on your keyboard. Your model will be snapped into the document perfectly. Next, we have right-click navigation. Let's go back to our preferences and go ahead and enable right-click navigation. This will just help it all work much more seamlessly. To move or pan the model, all you have to do is Alt and right-click anywhere, including on top of the model. You no longer have to depend on the canvas. To scale, simply press Ctrl and right-click and drag. Again, this can be done anywhere, including on top of the model. To rotate, simply right-click and drag anywhere. You can still use F to frame, and you can still press Shift to snap the rotation. If you're using a drawing tablet, keep in mind that you can actually map the right click to one of the buttons on your pen. Last but not least, we have what I like to call easy navigation. Do you see these three buttons here? Move, Zoom 3D, and Rotate? Try grabbing one of those and dragging. You'll notice that it creates exactly the effect you're looking for. However, this might seem like the easiest method to get started, and it is, but I recommend trying one of the other two methods as you become more proficient with ZBrush, as this method will require you to lift your hand off of your model and come find the button and click it and move it. It just takes up way more time.